Hey guys, Silent Seal here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix. So this is the first episode where you don't actually see me have the login bonus. Well, technically, if you guys watched the last episode, you will know why. Because yes, I wanted to do another episode straight away so I can help my team attain as many stars as possible to unlock Chansey. So from the last episode, yes, we are technically not that far away. Uh, kind of like around... 50 to 60 stars away from attaining Chansey. So let's do our best this episode to attain that amount of stars. Hopefully the rest of the team members will get a bit busy with the remaining 17 hours left as well. So yes, let's do this guys. We're going straight into the 10 levels this time around because there's no party invitation due to, you know, it's not a reset of the day. So yes, it means that this episode will technically be a bit shorter uh, but that's okay. We're working our, doing our best, working our hardest, you know, to try and attain a new friend. So considering that we did miss out on Lucario in the last event. So yeah, okay, so let's do this. Let's, let's grind away, grind away. Okay, let's get this site, you know, destroyed normally while, you know, we use skills on this end. So we can focus our attention on just manually destroying you know stuff on one side while you know the other side will just get the leisure treatment of you know using skills to destroy things all right oh oh come on that ketchup bottle is just a bit slightly off <laughs> and you miss the entire thing it's just really unfortunate okay okay so let's push the ketchup bottle here here so we can destroy it with the sugar cubes. Alright. Okay, the megaphone counts are doing well. Okay, so let's let's see. Can we there we go. Nicely covered. Alright, so it, it's a shame that we couldn't end this stage with you know two moves remaining, but you know, I'll take whatever comes. Alright, seems like Lucario is slowly getting towards level 2. Okay, here we go. We need Slurp Half to help feed Minum. So lots of my Pokemon are starting to get into the level 2 section. So how many of you guys out there who are playing this game alongside with me have, you know, most of your Pokemon to, at level 3 already? So I, I definitely have my Nintendo Switch account um most of their pokemon most of my pokemon there are like um technically already at max level most of them uh, except for like the new ones like whimsy card um that just recently joined the cafe of course that pokemon will not be maxed out um it'll be kind of blasphemous if he is you know unless i've been using um you know the cupcakes which i haven't so, okay, so we just need the score and a few eggs. So, there we go. That should do it. Yep. And two moves remaining. Fantastic. Oh, man, looking at that pudding now, I kind of got cravings for pudding. I <laughs> uh, haven't had pudding in a while. In fact, I think it's almost been two years since I've had pudding. Because the last pudding I had was when I was in Japan for the first time by myself. Uh, for the Macross Crossover Live 2019 event. And of course, uh, as usual, because when you're in Japan, you just have to go and get kombini pudding. <laughs> it's, it's just kind of like a gaish, gaishin, gaijin thing to do. <laughs> I guess, I don't know. I mean, I watch a lot of anime and all that kind of stuff. So I've always been curious about how good kombini pudding is. And it turned out to be surprisingly good. In fact, a lot of the convenience stores in Japan sell very good desserts <laughs> I, I guess it's just normal in japan okay so let's just go ahead and pop a few of these gum we'll set free the chocolate pieces oh oh you we were lucky there very lucky considering how uh, well placed that megaphone was okay so let's go and get this one chocolate okay Hopefully we get uh, another lucky break from now. No lucky break here? Okay, that's fine. Oh, come on. 
You gotta be kidding me. Oh, it's such a bad placement. Alright. Okay. Gotta set that chocolate free. Okay, I'm not so lucky with the uh, megaphone summon, but that's fine. Let's not forget the fruits. I mean the vegetable crates. Okay, that settles the vegetable. Alright, so let's go ahead and gather more icons for the score and not forgetting we have to destroy the chocolates as well. There you go. And this will settle the chocolate problem. So not that problematic of a level, just be careful of the, the gummed up chocolate. Uh, make sure you destroy them as quickly as you can. And of course, if you happen to pop them too cl close together, there is a chance that the chocolate placement might just overlap the other one and destroy the other piece straight away. So yes, take advantage of that kind of thing, you know, when it comes to playing games. Alright, we got Plasso going on photography. Oh no. Oh no, there's mixing canisters. You gotta find the milk pieces in among the Mayonnaise bubbles? That's a real pain. Okay, there is one over there. Okay, we're gonna... Oh, there are... both of them are here. Okay, so... Oh, I shut! I forgot that there were pumpkins. Oh, that is not good. That is not good. I totally forgot about the pumpkins. Alright, so let's try... There we go. Push it in. Okay, let's drag this one over. There we go. Do we have a link requirement? Oh, we do. Okay, so we do need 30 links. There we go, we got our 30. So all we have to do is just destroy the pumpkin and it will mix together. Now the only issue is this side. The pumpkins here are a bit of a pain. Okay, we do have two moves remaining so we're just gonna go with the megaphones. Oh no, oh no, oh no, no 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 squeeze. Oh no, this is this is horrible. No! No! <laughs> oh god, we're gonna have to retry the level. Oh, why couldn't they just give me a megaphone that is facing downwards? Oh, that was so unfortunate. Okay. So yes, we do need, um, you know, to try and set free as many of the icons as possible if we want to do that 30 link requirement. And of course, we need to find out where the milk canisters are as well. So, not forgetting to destroy the pumpkins, which I did totally forget <laughs> the first try. Okay. Okay, so let's go. Let's carry the other one over if we can. Okay, we failed to do so. Well, that's okay. Try and push this over again. Alright, not too bad. Now the only problem is the pumpkin. Alright, so all the pumpkins on the right side are gone. So we still need that 30 link. That's a problem. So I don't know if we have more than enough fluffles here. Oh, we do. Oh, we do! Fantastic, so we just had to destroy the pumpkin and we're done. Look, it's so simple a level, but we just messed it up in the last try. Ah, this is really unfortunate. Okay. <laughs> so hopefully you guys, after watching me fumble, don't do the same mistake that I did. And you should be... You should be good at clearing this level. Alright. Let's see, Skoto. Wonder what Eevee is gonna give us? Oh boy. 
Okay, so we have to test out the waters to see if like both sides will produce Pokemon icons. Okay, we definitely know this side does. Um, definitely want to try and destroy the Popcorns over here first. So let's go ahead and you know play around with this side too. See whether the icons do get produced over here, and yes, they do. All right, so let's take advantage of that. Okay. Mm. Now, technically, we don't really have to um, use the skill to destroy the strawberry basket on the left side um, because, well, as long as the icons are being produced, you technically have coverage um, over this basket over here. So yeah. Okay, so now that we have unlocked the areas, we can go ahead and mass destroy everything here. The problem is the popcorns. Oh, what? What? Okay, so we definitely need to gather all the Squirtle icons first and destroy the, the strawberry basket so that we can push the the popcorn kernels down together and then destroy everything at one go because we're running out of moves. There we go. Whew. Whew. <laughs> that was a bit stressful. But a pretty fun level. There we go. Alright, getting closer to our goal. That is Chansey. Nicely moving along. Hopefully we get friendship bonuses this episode as well. It'll be great if it's on the last level. Just like the last episode. And hopefully you guys have watched it. If you have not, please go back and check it out. It will help the channel greatly. Alright. Okay, so we definitely want to prioritize defrosting the, um, the tomato bottles first. And of course the tomatoes. Alright, here we go. Because Minum skill isn't exactly very beneficial for this level. Um, you know, uh, a downward facing megaphone is <laughs> way better, um, you know, than Plusso skill in this level. So yeah, if you want to change the recommended Pokemon, um, you know, you can do so. Uh, as long as the Pokemon has a skill that, you know, points downwards, I think you should be fine. But we're gonna go ahead and destroy the ketchup bottles first because they're kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, I don't know if I could say ass, but, you know, I've already said it, so... Uh, YouTube, don't penalize me. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so we've got a problem. All the all the megaphones are pointing upwards. So yeah, it's, it's not a good it's not a good recommended Pokemon. So I'm gonna switch Pokemon here. Um, no, I need someone that's pointing downwards. Anyone that's pointing downwards? There you go. Oh, my boy, Sobble. So uh, an event Pokemon is going to do the job. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Hopefully this does help. So we don't get a lot of Sobble icons. I, I guess because it's not the recommended Pokemon. So let's try our best to obtain as many skills as possible. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and destroy ketchup bottles because the ones in the center technically can be destroyed normally so we're just gonna do that and of course not forget to defrost the ketchup bottles and this one there we go so let's push this down cover the remaining two ketchup bottles at the bottom 
Fantastic. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and mix around. Um, I see no reason to use Sabo's skill to help destroy these ketchup bottles. Um, because right now we do need to get that 34 link. There we go. Alright, so right now there are only 4 bottles remaining, so let's go ahead and Sabo things up. Look at that! Wow! Finally an event Pokemon that actually does its job! Well, technically because he has the needed skill direction that helps to clear this stage. So yes, a very fine example right here. Finally, after how many episodes of Pokemon Cafe Mix, uh, I actually changed up, you know, to use a Pokemon that is not the recommended one by the level. So yes, you can do that. And of course, make things easier for yourself if you feel like, oh, you know, um, this particular skill is actually best suited for this level. Alright, so let's see, Charmander. Okay, so Charmander technically is the better choice here for this level. Um, the issue here is the Olives, so let's try and get rid of the Olives first um, before we decide to pop anything else open. Because, you know, things being coated in olive oil is very annoying. Alright, so with Charmander's skill, let's just destroy everything in the bottom row. This will help push the leaves in. There we go. Okay. So technically, we can just get this leaf in. Alright, and we want to clear the cheese for more space um, so that the icons can fall in. Now we just need to gather the whole bunch of icons for the score. Yep. Wow, four moves remaining! Very generous level. Hey, Kirill Kirlia. I cannot pronounce his name, its name, his, her. Well, it can evolve to a male and female, so <laughs> its name. I can never pronounce its name properly. Curlia? It's K-I-R-L-I-A. So if it's in Japanese, I don't know. It I mean its Japanese name is definitely not Curlia. It's maybe it is like Ki Kiri Li A. That's probably the Japanese pronunciation if it's written exactly as, as an English counterpart, but I, I don't think it's the same. I've got to go and check it out. <laughs> okay. Okay, so Blossom gets the friendship bonus and, well, technically it's not the last level of this episode, so... Oh well. Still, friendship bonus is always appreciated. You know, who knows, we did encounter an episode where the friendship bonus did occur again. The 10th level, so can always pray. Oh, I got stuck. Oh no! Oh, what a waste. Okay, we're gonna take this chance to just destroy the cans because destroying four pieces of marshmallows isn't exactly worth the effort. Alright, here we go. So we can go ahead and Destroy these marshmallows now. Okay, one more time. Well, while we are trying to get to the score. Oh, come on, I missed it! Oh, what a bummer. Okay, so destroying the fruit can along with the marshmallow, and of course, transforming a lot of the icons to the required one for another skill appearance. Fantastic, so all the marshmallows are gone. So we do need to clear as many of the other icons that we don't need because we need Jigglypuff. So we're going to do this and change a uh, majority of the icons to Jigglypuffs. There we go. And that should cover us in score as well. So we did use up all the moves but that's fine. We cleared the level, that's all that's important. And once again with the pudding. Stop it, you're giving me cravings! <laughs> Okay, okay, so we are not too far off from attaining Chansey. I mean, it's just a few more stars, which 
isn't... Oh, we're in third place now. Cool. Well, it's probably likely that I'm going to get overtaken um, eventually. Uh, hopefully these guys are still active. Okay. So Pikachu's the main. So let's go ahead and Pika things up. Alright, munch legs. Make sure you uncoat all the stuff. Alright, clearing the sugar cube for more space for icons. And chinos. And of course, not forgetting the egg baskets. I'm going to go with munch legs because let's not waste the Pikachu icons. Okay. Sugar cubes here. I think we're doing pretty well. Just need to pay attention to the egg baskets, including of the red creams. I think technically we should be doing pretty decent. Okay, I can destroy two of the whipped creams, but not that huge one. So we ended up using all the moons, but you know, we cleared the level, that's all important. Alright. Oh, look at that adorable ass. <laughs> How can you eat that? Alright, and on to the last level! So, no friendship bonus for this level though, so that's kind of a bummer. But that's okay. Alright, moving along. Okay, we need Stanley. It's not Stanley, it's not Stanley, it's Stun Stanley? I don't know, it's another one of those Pokemon that I have a hard time pronouncing its name. I apologize if I butchered it, but you know, that's just me. Okay. So let's get rid of the um, the honey on this side first, and let's work our way on this end. Okay, now that we have unlocked the potential, let's go ahead. Look at that, look at that, look at that spread. Okay, so let's get her another skill. Now the only problem is the, the honey here. Yep, that was bound to happen. And that should do it. Okay, so we're gonna get these guys set free. Okay. So we do need to mix things up. And of course we still need vegetable crates as well. So this is a problem, we've only got one more move remaining. Yeah, that's a problem. Okay, so this is definitely one of those levels that really um, requires extended moves. Um, so if you guys have 900 acorns on hand or more, um, this is probably one of the stages that you're going to utilize it. Uh, unless, you know, the kind of player who is very skillful enough to use the given items. Um, every time you unlock a Pokemon's uh, max level or, you know, the presence after every 10 level or the kind of stuff or the daily logins, you can go ahead and make use of those items you know, to, to, to make it advantageous for yourself. I think, you know, you should be good. So here we are, mixed up all the milk stuff and of course destroying all the crates. And finally we are done. Look at that. So my team only needs another 41 stars to unlock Chansey. So I'm going to leave the rest to the re remaining team members. Hopefully enough 41 stars won't get them um, feeling a bit too lazy about getting it as long as like this person has played their part, maybe, you know, we've got so many active players in this team. Um, technically, well, 
Yeah, there are quite a few. Hopefully those that with like 40 to 30 are still playing. Or, you know, at least the top two will definitely try their best to attain another... Oh, we've got another 40, so another star was actually attained. So, yeah, someone's working hard <laughs> alongside with me. So I'm working decently hard. It's not the, the, the most active I've been. You, should, you guys should really see my star count on my Nintendo Switch account. It's just insane <laughs> compared to the, the mobile account which I'm using to record videos. So definitely, um, I would like to go through the, the order list with you guys rather than, you know, grinding mindlessly away just for the event, uh, which I will be doing on my Nintendo Switch later after this um, before I doze off into La La Land. So yes, guys, thank you guys so much for joining me here on another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix. As usual, if you guys enjoyed yourself, leave a like on this uh, video. Leave a like on this button. What in the world I'm thinking? <laughs> so this is what happens when you're tired and you fumble with your words. You just speak nonsense. But it's okay. It's all for a laugh. And of course, um, my videos are always uncut. You know, unedited. Well, technically it is edited, but I know I don't cut away the content that is, you know, recorded at one go. Um, so yeah, so if you guys enjoy my fumbles, let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoy the stages, also let me know in the comments down below. Or whatever else you want to talk to me about Pokemon Cafe Mix, Macross, you know, all the stuff that I enjoy anywhere on my channel. Uh, of course, if you want to put it under relevant videos, you can go ahead and click whichever video that suits the topic. And let me know in the comment sections of those videos as well. And of course, guys, as usual, if you guys are not subscribed yet, and of course, if you are brand new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell notification icon so you guys can know whenever I upload a brand new video. And yes, I know, I know, I've been promising a new episode of the Nonary Games for so long. I've been so busy. And, you know, certain contents need to have prioritizing releases first, you know, like Utah Macross and Pokemon Cafe Mix because they are constantly updating. Nonary Games is just sitting there in this Blu-ray disc waiting to be completed. So, yes, prioritization goes to other games first. But eventually, I'll get the new episode of the Nonary Games out very soon. Until then, guys, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!